Just keep playing, Brother Adam. I don't really have no agenda. I got an assignment. Religion offers agendas. I see y'all still doing what we said last time. Is here still sitting in different places? Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's a good thing. That's letting God know I'm ready for change. Because he changes us from glory to glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3.18. Hallelujah. In the word of the Lord in Galatians 3, verses 26, says we're children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Somebody say children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. See, a person is not a child of God because they just go to church. We're all God's creation, but we're not all God's children unless we've been to the blood of his cross. Come on, somebody. Those that are children of God are those who have believed on Jesus. Come on, somebody. Going to church don't make you a child of God. But if you ever come to Christ, the crucified one that was raised from the dead, come on, somebody. He's the only one that can make you a child of God. So say that with me. We're children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Well, I thought just believing made me a child of God. Well, demons believe and tremble, James 2, 19. Look at your neighbor. See, even the devil believes in God. Hallelujah. But he don't follow the one he believes in. He don't. He don't believe what he believes. Come on, somebody. In Titus 1 and 16, the Bible said they profess to know God with their mouth, but in their works, their lifestyle, the way they live, they deny him. Amen. We have what we call the practicing atheist. The practicing atheist says there is no God, and they live like it. I mean, they literally live like it. The confession of their mouth come on is declared in the lifestyle they live because they live like there's no God and they say with their mouth there's no God. Matter of fact, Psalms 14 and 1 and Psalms 53 and 1 said the fool has said in his heart there is no God. Notice they got to say it in their heart. They can't prove it. Come on somebody. But they have to say it in their heart there is no God. Somebody say it's a fool. April the 1st is just around the corner. I call it National Atheist Day. Come on somebody. Some call it April Fool's Day. I just call it National Atheist Day. Amen. Praise God. Because the fool has said in his heart, there's no God. Amen. But at least they're not hypocritical. They say there's no God and then they live like there's no God. Amen. They're the practicing atheists. But then you got the believing atheists. Like Titus 1.16 says, they profess with their mouth, they know him. But then in their works, the way they live, they deny his existence. The reason I call them the believing atheists because they say with their mouth, Brother Adam, we believe in God just like the devil. But also like the devil, they live like the devil <laughs> after they say they believe. Come on, that's, no wonder we got so many people, hey amen, and modernly coming to church saying I believe, but then when they walk out the door, they live like the devil because they got a devil's faith. Somebody shout, that's a demon's faith. Demons believe. The author of atheism himself, Satan, actually believes. And he trembles. He got more fear of God than some saints sitting on the pew do. James 2, 19, read it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. But he, listen to this. He believes, but he don't practice what he believes. He believes, but he don't believe what he believes. Somebody shout, that's a demon's faith. To just say, I confess I believe is not enough. Jesus didn't come and say, believe on me, see you in eternity. No, he said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. And straightway they let their nets down and they followed him. Come on, somebody. Matthew 4, 19 and 20. Somebody shout, they believed and they followed. Mark 1, 15, Jesus came preaching, repent and believe the gospel. Jesus said, you've not even believed on me until you've turned from your sin. Somebody look at you and go, praise God. Come on, somebody. There's a so-called, quote, unquote, another gospel being preached today. Amen. That offers righteousness without repentance. Come on, somebody.